Michael Grady. Coach, what, what aspect of the way the game unfolded was most disheartening tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we obviously started the game uh, poorly. Um, I don't think uh, we had the same sort of level of uh, hunger to start the game as we did in Boston. Um, I think the turnovers was, was obviously, a, you know, a big part of that as well. Um, so we found ourselves in a big hole and, and, and just had some sloppy patches throughout the game, but we showed we can play when we had more of a sense of urgency and, and you know, we're willing to play together and find solutions together. So um, great, great look, you know, at what it takes to, to play at the highest level in this league. I know each game is unique. Personnel might have been a little bit different, but against the... The teams with the better records that we're seeing in the league so far that you've been able to face so far, are you noticing a common thread in the performances with your group? With our group or their groups? With, with your group. Yeah, I just losses. think we're, we're a team that's uh, still forming, still trying to find an identity. You know, that this team has a clear identity, a clear understanding of what they're trying to do offensively and defensively, something that we're still in the very early stages of. Um, you know, you couple that with uh, sometimes we get away from our game when we go behind. You know, that's, those are signs of a, of a new team, a team that's, that's trying to understand each other and, and, and form some clarity and identity out there. Obviously, uh, your sloppiness on offense kind of fed them getting into transition, but was there something that they were doing that took you guys out of what you wanted, or do you attribute those turnovers to kind of more sloppiness on your end? You just look internally at that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... You know, they're, they're a, a very good defensive team, so I don't want to take any credit away. But a lot of the turnovers I think you'll see were just sloppy, were, were careless. Um, against a team like that, you know, as a good defense, you need to try to get as many shots at the basket as you can, one, and not fuel their opportunity to create good looks, you know. Just in general, they created better opportunities than we did, um, and then that's compounded by the turnovers where they can get out and run. Steve, DeAndre's uh, impact seems to kind of keep growing and growing uh, game by game. How important was his uh, just kind of energy on both ends mm -hmm. in terms of helping you guys get back into it a little bit? Well, he gives us some, some speed and athleticism. He gives us a defender out there um, who can guard, you know, number one options on the other team. And he also is, uh, you know, a cutter offensively for us. Um, so he's he's been great. He's We've been working with him to to really understand his role, and I think he's – you know, been fantastic with his willingness to compete and to to grow as a player. So I'm really proud of his effort, and uh, and he's getting better. Steve, what would you make of James's game? Obviously, he struggled offensively, but then he still winds up with a triple double for you guys. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough night for him. Um, you know, some 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 turnover issues and didn't get a lot of good looks. Um, you know, but that that's a part of our growth too is trying to figure out ways to, to, you know, for him to be effective, even if he's not getting to the rim uh, all night. Can he draw a crowd and get off it and generate offense on the second side? And, um, you know, as you see, he still can rebound and, and make plays for others. Um, but can we take advantage of those nights where, you know, he gets into the paint and it's not all or nothing on him? He can move it out and we continue to play on the second side. So I think that's a part of our growth. Coach, kind of following up on Alex's question, last year it was the whole thing where, you know, you guys moved James to the point and Kyrie to the two. And this year, obviously, there's no Kyrie. So I guess my question is, do you think James is passing too much or is that kind of what you want from him? No, I mean, I think tonight, uh, you know, I think it was it was crowded in there, you know, and we didn't move the ball enough. So we got to be able to move it, get off it quicker. So for him to draw a crowd and get off it, he's done his job. So I think, it's, you know, on nights like this where, you know, Aiden's sitting back in the lane and it's, it's there's not a lot of uh, space for him, you know, he can still impact the game by, by initiating offense, by spraying the ball out and getting to the second side, playing actions on the second side and move their help side around. So um, that's just a part of our team, recognizing nights like this where it's not going to be classic or perfect or easy we've got to be able to take advantage of the way they're playing to initiate our offense as well thank you great thanks guys